Hi, my name is Matthew Rocknich. I am the developer evangelist here at DocuSign. I'm here today with Kieran Kaza. He is the senior director of mobile engineering. Kieran, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Matt. It's a pleasure. So Kieran, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are responsible for leading all efforts relating to mobile. Is that correct? Yes, I am responsible for leading mobile engineering platform. So anything mobile is typically my team doing the work. Excellent. So can you talk a bit about the scope of mobile at DocuSign? How are we committed to mobile? So the team today is focused on doing primarily doing development on our award-winning mobile apps for iOS, Android, and Windows, as well as my team today is also doing development on SDKs. So awesome. mobile SDKs is another focus my team has. Very cool. Let's talk specifically about the iOS native SDK. Absolutely. The core principle we, uh, we thought about while we are building our iOS SDK was, A, it should be easy to use. Mm. Uh, the developers should be able to download our SDKs and customize the SDK so that it looks and feels like their app because they are actually embedding my SDK within their app. And finally, we should provide the same nice UI experience that our native apps have within the developer's native application. So right. they have their own application, but they want to use DocuSign signing experience within their apps. Right. As a business leader, as a developer, I'm interested in the key value propositions. Could you walk through some of those for us? Uh, yes, absolutely. The first value proposition that we talk about in our SDK is, are we trying to solve a repeatable business problem? And the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. And that's in docs and world are called templates. We use templates to, um, to solve the problem of repeatable business workflows. The second aspect is, is my SDK easy to implement within your app? Because that is one of the core principles behind our SDK design. So we have tons of documentation, sample apps to help developers come to speed as well as use our SDKs. Right. Finally, you might be collecting information or you might be doing conducting some kind of business process in, in a remote location where you do not have internet connection. So maybe in a Somalia desert. If that happens, our SDK should be able to still work. And uh, yes, it does. We, our SDK works in offline mode. So that is another important value proposition for our SDK. That's so cool. What specific features do our, is our SDK really, uh, how, do, how do we demonstrate those features? Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, our SDK's first and f big feature is being able to view templates and able to download them for offline usage. Mm -hmm. uh, the second key feature is being able to send those templates out for signing, being able to collect those signatures. And finally, uh, you want to sync the envelopes back to the server. So those are kind of the top three, four functionality. On top of it, as I mentioned, we, pro we allow you to uh, rebrand our SDK native user interfaces as well as we allow we we allow you to default information during signing sessions so that when user has information that's already existing within their app they're not repeating that again that whole information can be um, carried forward in the signing session and the signing process is basically you're collecting signature, maybe some information that you could not default sure. or prefill. Awesome. So as developers we love to know how things work. Let's take a look under the hood and figure out how the SDK is actually built. Yeah. At a very high level, SDK, as I mentioned before, is a dynamic Objective-C framework. Mm -hmm. um, the second is it supports platform, which is iOS, right. 10 plus, any 10 plus device, iPad or iPhone, it works. And documentation, we provide tons of documentation, startup guide, bootstrap documentation, we provide information on interfaces, uh, some sample apps, so that at, at the high level. Let's go a level deeper, which probably will excite most of the developers. One. If you look at this drawing with me, uh, it looks like a very familiar MVC drawing, which is absolutely what our SDK is. It is following an MVC architecture. At the very bottom, you have data that interacts with controllers. Controllers interact with views. But from developer point of view, all you, you interact with is the client interfaces that we have created, which, is, which you use within your application. So wow, all the complexity great. It's gone. You mentioned that we're going to walk through some code. Are you going to give us an example of the SDK in action? Absolutely, I will. I, so Great. if you think about our SDK, there are really four key steps to use our SDK. One, being able to authenticate our S uh, using our SDK mm -hmm. with DocuSign. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, being able to access templates and able to download them for offline usage. Three would be uh, your own business process of collecting, the uh, sending documents for signature, and then finally syncing them. So mm -hmm. really, there are four key steps that our SDK, you use our SDK within your app. Okay. Let's understand the first step, authentication. Um, you have your own application, you have your own authentication model, but you need to authenticate yourself with DocuSign. So the, on the left-hand side, you see a little code snippet, and this code snippet uh, indicates we have we need three four different data points. One, what is the DocuSign user ID password? Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna pass in an integrator key. The integrator key basically helps you identify 
who you are with DocuSign and finally the host. Host is like uh, different environments you're going to use for your testing, right. lower environments doing non-production phase and production environment for production. Mm -hmm. So those would be the four different values you pass, sing a single line of code and you can authenticate yourself with DocuSign. Let's look at that in real life. What you're looking at is uh, insurance company app. The code base, entire code base is actually for your business problem that you are dealing with. Right. But at different places, you will add information so that you can use DocSign SDK. So let's look at a login view controller. A view controller is basically a way to communicate between views and models, right? right. So um, uh, here I'm passing in literally three lines of code, and which is username, password, um, host key, and integrator key, and you are integrated. So let's look at that flow here. Now I'm able to log into the application. Or you see the user ID and password being defaulted. I hit sign in. I'm authenticating myself into uh, into my own application, and I'm logged in. Excellent. So step two here is I need to view templates and be able to download for offline usage. So the top part of the code shows you how to view a template. A second part of code shows you how to uh, how to download them for offline usage. Let's go back to my application. And you can see in my template manager, mm -hmm. I have obviously the name is obvious, the template <laughs> manager. Yeah. Uh, well, there are two pieces of code. First, um, this is the first call you make to DocuSign system to retrieve a list of templates. So there's a list template call. And then you call another, uh, another call where you pass in a specific template ID and ask it to be cached for offline usage. I'm going to go back to my app, app here. I'll go to templates. Uh, there's one template which is already cached. You can see a little check mark yep. here, but this template is still not cached. The home insurance template is not cached. I'm going to click on that. So now it's actually downloaded right. the template for offline usage. So now if you're in the field and you don't have access to any you know, cell reception or Wi-Fi, you'll automatically have those templates ready to use. Exactly. Excellent. And you never lose your work. It's always there. Cool. <clears throat> so uh, then the step after that is sending and signing. So I have now the template that I wanted to use. Uh, I'm actually uh, I'm actually collecting a claim information. Sure. I'm in the field. Now I have to send and sign and send documents. So this with one line of code where you pass in a template ID. I'm going to pass a template ID, a kind of business process what I'm dealing mm -hmm. with right now. I'm going to pass in the default data, which are the apps. Sure. And finally, any kind of attachments you might have to pass in. For example, there are many scenarios where if you are at a site, you have to take a driver's license, a copy of a driver's right. license, some kind of information. Proof of insurance, ID. Something okay. to, to validate who the person sure. is. So sure. you can attach that information, mm -hmm. and that's it. That one line of code will let you start from starting a, a claim information, collecting the data, mm -hmm. and finally signing and finishing off the document. That's the entire flow is through one line of code. That's amazing. And let's go back to our app here. Here, I at the very end, I have the call to call the template manager, wow. and the template manager call will actually kick off the entire sending and signing experience. So let's look at that in a real app. So this again, my claims app. I'm actually uh, trying to create auto claim. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on auto claim. I'm going to select the template. So I'm going to search for a valid policy. And oh, this is for Tom. So I'm creating a claim for Tom. Right. Um, I'm in the field. I hit next. I know I'm creating a claim for auto accident. and then you hit next is the point where you actually make a call to our SDK and I'm signing in the offline mode. I'm going to attach well, some kind of driver's license, something, proof sure. of insurance, something. Sure. And now at this point, I'm adding who is signing this document with me. So I'm in the field with you. So I'm going to say I'm host signing here. I'm a host. I'll add myself. And the person who's signing is Tom Woods. And I'll be Tom Woods. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be Tom Woods for, the, for this example. And you host the signature. You're signing offline mode. And so at this point, me as Tom Woods, I'm accepting your, the phone, and I'm going to start the signing ceremony. Exactly. Okay. So I hand over the device to you. You read, you read the consent. You say, I'm begin signing. I'm going to fill in, hey, where did that accident happen? So the first form, I'll fill in, hey, 211 Main Street. Perfect. So basically, I'm. Only information I'm writing is what I don't know, where mm -hmm. the accident happened. Sure. Everything else is defaulted. The name is defaulted. The policy number is defaulted. As you can see there, we investigate projects are full defaulting. Now, I will have to do is sign. So let's sign this document. 
<laughs> <laughs> Beautiful signature. <laughs> oh, I am so good that, with my keypad. That's <laughs> you oh amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. So I collected my signature, and all I had to do is hit finish button. So right. I hit finish, uh, confirm signing. I pass the device back to the host, right. and. This entire workflow is through one line of code that you added that mm. kicks off that entire flow. So that's how easy it is to use my SDK. Right. And I have signed the document. I wanted to show another flavor where it is quite possible that you want branding. It, right now in my insurance app, you're seeing most of the flows are bluish. Yeah. But if for some reason you wanted orange, you add, the, you, you set your navigation tab bars to its specific colors and font to specific colors, it will show those documents specific colors. Right. I, would, I wouldn't have noticed that we transitioned from 30 party to DocuSign if you it's, hadn't mentioned branding. Yes. Awesome. So that, that way the whole, the whole experience looks cohesive. Mm -hmm. And finally, syncing. I have, I have collected signatures, I want to sync the document back to the server. You had to add this one line of code and they'll sync the document back to server. Let's look at this in real life. Um, so I have envelope manager. So we are syncing envelope back to server and all you're doing is say, hey, sync this envelope back. Excellent. So I go back to my SDK, sync claims, and now you see the sync happening back to the servers. Done. That's very clean. Yeah, so. simple. Um, so simple, probably 20 lines of code and you're done. Perfect. I'm sold. As a developer, uh, if I were to get started, where would I go personally? So for developer point of view, the first place you should go is developer.documentsign.com. Once, once you are there, you can uh, navigate to our SDK, SDKs and tools. Mm -hmm. In SDKs and tools, there is an iOS okay. offline SDK section. And here, once you come to the section, you will have developer center. On developer center, there are all the information about how do you going to bootstrap the app, how you gonna, uh, how how can you use us into, uh, how can you use other documentation, mm -hmm. the sample apps, so on and so forth. Everything is available. You can even download our SDKs from from the same site. Amazing. Anything new upcoming for developers to get excited about from the SDK's perspective? Oh, great question. Uh, from developer point of view, uh, we we got feedback and we have made some enhancement. We added additional tab support. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we support radio buttons, uh, date formula fields. Uh, we have added some advanced recipient controls, for example, being able to switch recipient type. Mm -hmm. Right now, most of the SDK flows are template-driven flows. Mm -hmm. You need to have a template to kick off the workflow. But in future, we want our SDKs to be driven by any any document can collect signatures on any document which are on the local device or some kind of cloud storage. So that's the next version of our SDK where you can start your document signing just based on a document versus a template. So that's a second version which we are releasing end of next month. Excellent. Very, very exciting stuff. Now for all the developers out there, if you are interested in any uh, mobile development opportunities, jobs, are there any currently at DocuSign? Can they apply? We are growing. Our team <laughs> is rapidly growing. There are tons of positions on DocuSign career side, mm -hmm. both for San Francisco, Seattle, and other, other development locations we have. Please, please apply. We love to f have fresh energy join our team. Excellent. Well, Karen, thank you so much for uh, being here today to talk about the uh, iOS SDK. It was fun. It was great. <laughs> Thanks thank so you. much.